Okay, what you're looking at is a very young Camerops palm. This one here is one of my seed grown. The seed came from St. George, Utah. And yes, it survived the freeze. So what I can tell you is that this palm uh, in late December of 2021 survived minus eight degrees Celsius, no winter protection. See it down in here? There's the uh, frond opening up. Don't worry, I've already tried pulling on it, didn't come out. It's growing underneath some Helleborus. And uh, it just goes to show you that these palms in our climate uh, is hardier than Butia capitata, hardier than the Phoenix canariensis, hardier than some of the mule palms. One of our mule palms made it, one of them didn't. And of course, Jubea chilensis lost its center spear. And this guy here did not firm, see? Beautiful. So that is a Camerops humilis from St. George, Utah. And that's what the trunk looks like, right? Little trunk on it. And we have a lot of Camerops in our garden. Actually, I forgot about this one, you know. I was actually looking at the, uh, I was looking at the Trachycarpus manipure here. And uh, this is, oh, well, there's a Camerops growing there. We got some sables growing around here too. So that did okay. And then uh, there's some sables in here too. There's sables everywhere. I plant sables all over the place like I plant trackies. Sable, sable minor in here, sable Louisiana. I think these ones are sable minor. But uh, there we go. So try some Camerops in your own garden. You will be pleased with the Mediterranean fan palms. They are tough as nails, all right? But less cold hardy than Trachycarpus. Thanks for watching. Cheers.